waiting to get the okay. Okay. Yeah. Looks I don't like know why they looked at go. me. I'm yeah. not the stream guy. Like they looked at me like, uh, you guys can play. For yeah. Me? Obviously we know because uh, <laughs> we're we're behind the desk. So that's not obviously what we would know. Yeah. Just press B. Yes. <laughs> yeah. This is dumb tag since the beginning of time, and it served him well because. Hey, look, just count how many times he pressed B just as soon as the night started. At least seven times. Dude, Cyro was so ready with that first parry, and then he went in. He was trying to get something going, but not going to be able to find anything. Yeah, Shield I the really want to see what Cyro does in this matchup. Just because, again, it, it's Roy, right? I like the choice of the nail ender. It sends him out a little bit farther. Mm -hmm. Not quite enough. Uh, holding not forward on like forward air, maybe missing, and then putting himself in the bad spot. Right. Back to the stage, so. Okay, Holy Water, he's got it in play. Decides to get rid of it. Not gonna ruin his play because of it. Dash attack comes in. He's got to set the ledge again. Ooh, yeah, stuck a little bit. Oh my goodness, he's got sit super far off in that back air. Not the best DI either. He's trying to get ledge shots. Oh, the angle down forward air. Dom yeah. didn't really lose control in neutral that much. Outside of like that combo that Cyro got to send him off stage, mm -hmm. Dom just took control that shot pretty much. Yeah, all right. Messed up a back air. Gonna follow the. Gonna follow the direction into a forward tilt. Yeah, he wants to get the cross and play at the ledge. Mm -hmm. Even though Cyrus saw it, it's still just another thing he has to think about. Right. Just forcing the whole shield instead of like maybe getting a down tilt. Mm -hmm. Yeah, gets a little bit of that ledge pressure off. So that's a very nice play there. And right now, D3 Dom has pretty much the lead. He's got the whole stock ahead, so he doesn't really have to pressure or force himself to really do anything he doesn't want to. That's up to Syro to be able to try and change the pace of the match here. Yeah, so far, I'm actually seeing Syro hold still a lot long, longer than I expected. Oh. He might actually just try to be familiarizing himself with these setups before he starts committing more to like an aggressive play style. Mm -hmm. I like the way that T3 Dom is also um, like timing his projectiles at the ledge. Like he'll throw the holy water first, and since that's a long duration, he'll wait till the end of it to then throw the cross, and then that forces uh, Cyro to make a decision that much faster instead of just throwing out all of his projectiles at once and then just hoping that one of them hits. You know? Yeah, that's what separates him from a lot of the other uh, Belmont players. Like most of the times, he's throwing out these. Moves. It's not just like, oh, I'm going to throw everything on the stage just because it's a lot of things happening at once, right? It's usually calculated reason why he's using each projectile or <laughs> using his uh, tilt and aerial. Yeah, exactly. He does have some crazy setups for sure, though. Like, I see him go for things that I'm like, wow, you really thought like four or five steps ahead just for that <laughs> tiny thing to connect. And he capitalized off it usually. Right. But Cyro is slowly but steadily bringing this back. That could have been good for him if he got the tech tape from the uh, yeah. temporal away. Uh, I think, like, Joe Ledge Dance mm -hmm. can yeah. kill incredibly early. Uh, yeah, that was a good mix-up from him, too, because he did a, I think he did a tech away earlier, and that actually almost cost him the stock. So that's this time around he didn't, uh, he decided not to do the same thing and actually mix up his uh, recovery that time. So that was good stuff all around, both players, actually. Yeah, I gotta say, I'm actually super impressed with Cyro's uh, decisions of how he's playing Roy. Like, this is the least uh, aggressive Roy I've seen play. <laughs> and it works so well, because he's not getting overwhelmed by, like, all the projectiles on the stage usually. He's just playing so patient in this matchup. All right, gets the grab, okay. puts him back off stage again. Gonna play one more time. He's gonna go for it. another holy water Ooh. into the back air, baiting him into thinking that he was gonna go in, maybe go for a grab or something, yeah. and then decided, nope, I'm gonna go through the back air, nice and safe, far away from wherever that sword is. Yeah, that was actually some clean movement coming out there from Dom. Who tried to do the single uh, double SF? Maybe he was trying to go for the whole thing, but didn't find himself in the right position. Yeah, he, he really wants that jab. The jab back there is very potent in the situation, but man, Don's just not giving it to him easily. Yeah, this is a tough spot to oh, be in. Oh, Cross was there to cover that too. Yeah, getting hit by the back hit of Cross too is really tough because it just pops you up in the perfect position to get comboed by something else. So, Dom is really Dom, starting to push this lead this here. This is looking surgical, I'm not going to lie. Cyro has to go through so much and he had no more invincibility. The tipper Dom smash? Dude, he just went for it. Facing was so good. That was like the first time he went for down smash too, the entire match. So he was just saving that mix up for when he needed it to close out the game. Very nice stuff. Yeah, it was fresh as well. Mm -hmm. It was definitely gonna kill. Yeah. Man, that was so smart. I don't know. I'm I'm imagining this is not a very often scenario where we see uh Cyro going up against Don Victor, but Usually what happens when I'm seeing someone trying to adjust to Don Drinker for like the maybe first or second time, it's 
pretty rough for them trying to figure out how to navigate through all these projectiles and setups. And uh, I don't honestly, Saro didn't really do too bad of a job because he just really just stayed still and paid attention to what Dom was doing most of the time. Mm -hmm. But I felt like he he's a press his advantage a little bit harder. Yeah, I feel. I think Dom is perfectly comfortable. If you're just gonna stay on the other side of the stage and wait for me to mess up, I I'm fine with that. Is what I imagine Dom is thinking. Yeah. On the ledge play too, it looked like that every time Dom had his opponent oh at the. Oh my god. Okay. Oh, he almost had to <laughs> there. I thought that was gonna get ugly. But yeah, every time Dom had the ledge control, he pretty much kept it for a really long time. But Cyro had a hard time getting back into the neutral, get something started. Okay. Four tilt. Another holy water put him back. I guessing his thought process with this smaller stage, at least the, the physical stage itself, is that maybe a little less room to actually be zoned out and maybe oh. he can find himself in a better position. Did he really roll in? Wow. Yeah, his he was ready was, for that. His back was facing the ledge. Yeah, he was already ready for that. Oh. What is Dom doing right now? He's playing even better than the first game. <laughs> But right. yeah, I definitely agree with you. Uh, the smaller stage is definitely not a bad idea for Cyro because he can force the up close in the situations a little bit more. And he can abuse what makes his voice strong, you know, like those big up close hitboxes. But yeah, a it's lot of like more of the same right now because yeah. Dom is still spacing so well. Oh, he finally navigated around the whip. Oh. He's going to be able to continue with this pressure, puts him back off stage, we go for the edge guard. Oh, nice choice for the jump timing from Dom. Oh, and he sneaks in the back of his own. Man, Cyro thought he could really scare Dom into pressing an early button off stage, bro. Oh, nice. Ooh. Again, he gets the double jump at a good time and he breaks through the ledge. It's a tether. Yeah, it's literally just coming down right now to Cyro is not able to find the edge guards he wants. I mean, Dom is doing a good job of mixing up where he wants to go as well, but Cyro said if he could close out the edge guards, this would be a completely different game. Yeah, but it's, it's just not working out so far. Dom yeah. is like, he's seen it all before, you know? This is my character's main weakness. I'm going <laughs> to play around it to the best of my ability. Yeah. Every time that Cyro thinks he can try and push something, either a projectile comes out or oh. something covers his path. Yeah. And then it's just really difficult to come through. Yeah. Okay, but wow. The sweet spot in there actually killing from the center of the stage. I haven't seen that from Roy. Yeah. But I, if you're Cyro, you'll take anything at this point. Yep. I mean, this is a good place to be in right now. His damage is not too high. If he can get out of this ledge back into neutral, if he finds himself an opening, he can really bring this back. But right now, it's a matter of... I was going to do that! Oh my god, if he held shield at any point for that, he was... He was gone. Yeah. He shield break or just mm -hmm. shield poke. He pretty much just let him... I don't know if he, like, purposely dropped shield, but, it's like, he got hit by the axe, so at least he was going to be able to fly out of that, so... Yeah. That's... Yeah. Mm -hmm. You have to DI it incredibly well to get out of it, but Dom usually follows the DI somehow. <laughs> no, don't ask me how. Because he's a good player. That's why he's over there. That's why we're over here. That's a good, that's that actually right? a good point, yeah. <laughs> oh. Oh, uh, he had the ledge control, but then Holy Water interrupted it again. Like, Dom is doing such a good job of controlling, even when he's in disadvantage, yeah. being able to control the pace of the match. And that's a big thing, it, I it, think. It has to be intentional at this point, where it looks like there's an opening, but the, you know, the reversal of the projectile is always where he needs to be. And there's that up B out of shield, also pretty strong get off the tool for Richter. But, Jared? Oh, wow. What an awareness from Cyro to see that opening and turn it into the kill. Yeah, that was really good. I think Dom was not ready for the platform setup that led into that tech situation in the first place, so he was able to capitalize off that. Good for Zyro recognizing that. Yeah. So he's able to close out the stock, but again, is it too little too late at this point? I, I can don't... never count out Rage Roy at all, but just the way that Dom was able to stay like, out of distance from Roy's like, major, you know, scary moves. What? Mm -hmm. Nice near again. I like that choice. Is the jump gone? Oh, no, it's not. Wait, wait, wait. I thought I saw the something. Tech, the tech? Okay, he gets the tether. That's a great percent for Cyro, though. Yeah, that was a lot of damage. It opens up a lot of possibilities, too. Oh, Ooh. holy water has just been so potent at the ledge. And honestly, the way that you feel that move is really 